All right, so what we're going to go through today is variables and using variables in our VEX VR and just using variables in general. So if you know what a variable is, that's great. Uh, a variable is essentially something, it's a container that we can put a number into and like an integer that we're going to use later. And it's really helpful when you want to use the same value in a lot of places. So maybe um, a 90 degree turn, right, is always turning 90. Or um, you always want to drive, you want to drive 180 millimeters in a specific direction, whether that direction be right, left, or, sorry, forward or back. Point is you're driving 180 degrees or 180 millimeters. And you use that consistently throughout, you know, the course of a of a program. Okay, so maybe what we do is we um, we want to draw larger squares incrementally or something like that. Yes, we can do we can do things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some variables. So I'm going to put a comment in here, and I'm just going to say creating. Uh, variables and inside of main so you notice we're tabbed over okay we're going to create those variables and it's a pretty simple way to create variables you're just going to type a name and then set it equal to something so for our case i'm just going to say um i'm going to call it travel underscore dis so travel distance I'm going to set it equal to, let's just say, 100. So I've just created a variable called travel dis. And it could, you know, I'm using it in place of tr the travel distance. Okay? I just don't feel like typing the word travel distance, so I'm cutting it down a little bit. And then I'm going to say maybe turn angle. And I'll put that as 90. Okay, so I've just created two variables, one called travel this, I set it to 100, and turn angle, and I set it to 90. So let's try to use these. So the way that you use them is this. So let's just say I wanted to drive forward. So I want to do a drive train dot drive four. It's asking me what direction, so I'm going to say forward. And instead of putting a number in here, I'm going to put the variable. So I'm going to say travel this. And then the last one is which unit am I using? So what this is going to do is this is going to this is going to tell the robot to do a drive for command forward for this distance. And every time it sees this, it's going to go up top and it's going to reference what that is. Okay? And then we need to close that parenthesis. So let's say I have it go forward. And, and we're going to do a turn for command. And I'm just going to say right. And then I'm going to use our angle. So turn angle. Degrees. And when I run this, it should drive forward for 100 millimeters and then it should do a 90 degree turn so if i run this all goes well did a hundred did a hundred hundred millimeter straight line and it did a 90 degree turn all right i'm going to set this to the art canvas so we're in the center of the screen so it should go forward and it turns right okay so I'm going to put the pen down just so we can we can see what the robot is doing. Uh, pen dot move down. Okay. So I taught you a couple days ago how to do a repeat command. So let's just say we want to draw a square, right? And a square is basically again just going forward, turning right, going forward, turning right, going forward, turning right. Let's make these things repeat themselves a few times. So I'm going to do a 4, and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it square in range, and I'm going to say 4 times, close parenthesis, colon. 
And then I'm going to take this stuff that I want to be inside of that for loop, and I'm going to tab them over. So I push the tab. And what should happen is I should be able to run this, and it should drop the pen. It should drop the pen and do a hundred millimeter square. Awesome. So how can we use this even further? Well, because it's a variable, we can actually manipulate that variable throughout. So let's just say we do a, um, I'm going to raise the pen up here. So after we do the square, I'm going to raise the pen up. So pen dot move. And then I'm going to have it do a couple things here. I want to just draw another square that's even bigger. So let's just say I take these things and I put them into a repeat again. So before this down, I'm going to do for loop and I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to call it a pattern. Pattern in range, and I'm going to say, uh, I don't know, five times. And I'm going to grab all the stuff that I want to be inside there, and again, I'm going to push tab. Now, what should happen is it'll probably do the same thing. It'll draw our square, which is using the repeat command. And then it's going to draw five more squares that are exactly the same size, which is not very interesting, right? So it should just drawing a square five times. Again, not very interesting. So what if we wanted to make this square just a little bit bigger? Well, what we can do here is after we draw this first square, what if we came inside here? inside the pattern and we changed our variable so let's change our variable let's add something to our variable so we're going to do this we're going to say travel this equals and then we're going to add something to our variable so we're going to say what does that variable equal we're going to say i want it to equal itself plus a number so let's just say maybe um, 100. So we're, we're telling it travel this is now going to equal this equation, which is travel this plus 100. And every time it draws us, it's going to draw our square, and then it's going to add to our variable, and it's going to repeat that. And it should... In theory, if all goes well, we should get a pattern. It should draw a hundred and hundred, hundred by hundred millimeter square, and then it should draw a slightly bigger square, which is two hundred by two hundred. And then it should draw another one, which is three hundred by three hundred, because now instead of drawing a hundred millimeter line, now it's drawing three hundred. Now it's going to draw a 400 millimeter line, so on and so forth. And it should do it one more time, because I think I have it repeating five times. Yep. So we can manipulate these variables over the course of a program, which is really helpful. And you can have many 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 different variables right so you can use that to kind of to your advantage to create even more complex slightly different programs and again with only using a little bit of code right that whole thing is only essentially what um almost like 10 lines of code essentially this is almost 10 lines 